Good evening. How are you? Good evening. What's up, Alan? Hey, what's up? I'm good. Uh, nice, everything. Everything's nice. gonna be all right. Everything is all right. Okay, it's Friday. Yeah, that's last day, the weekend. That's later, that last day of the week, yes. And tomorrow, the weekend, yes. What have you done today? Where were you yesterday? Sorry, I'm apologize. I couldn't be, I couldn't be assist to the class. Did it, because, worth, um, did it worth it? No, no, it was because my son uh, was sick and I need to be to take care of, her, of him and I couldn't be, yeah, that's the reason why I couldn't be yeah. present. I see. Well, I'm glad you made it. Is he okay? Actually, yes. I was afraid it will be uh, something like, uh, you know, the COVID? the COVID, something like that, but it wasn't. Thank God. Okay, thank God. It's good to hear. Uh, yeah, all the tests that we uh, perform did it, uh, it was okay, and then so just um, I don't remember how they say it, but it's like um, infection, an, an infection. Yeah, but okay. it's not nothing in the in the lungs nothing, or something like that. Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Well, better be safe, so, right? What What's funny yesterday? What was funny the class yesterday? Was the class funny yesterday? Oh. Am I a clown? Da, 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 da. <laughs> you always do uh, everything to try to uh, get the cheers up the people and try to understand the, the class. Is that of amazing? course, you have to cheer up. Why? Why shouldn't you smile? I learned uh, that. I learned that from from a survivor of cancer. I learned that from a survivor of cancer. I mean, life is beautiful. You have to appreciate every moment, no matter what. Yeah. Solo para decirte lo rápido y tú en día horrible. Really? Descubrí, I saw it. <laughs> descubrí que mi carro no encendía. Le decía, Erwin, mi carro no encendía. Le decía, al, al tercer o cuarto intento, ya encendía. Quité el motor de arranque porque noté que el selenoide se había zafado de los tres pernos que trae. Y ese era el motivo del por qué el Bendix no hacía contacto con el flywheel. Lo quité, no se me ocurrió probarlo, me lo llevé, encontré dos de los tres pernos. A AS, me fui a AS, de expertos en motores de arranque. Se tardaron media hora en buscar un tornillo para ponerlo y probar el motor de arranque. Me pareció raro. Me dijeron, no arranca. Y yo les dije, lo acabo de encender el carro y arrancó bien. ¿Cómo es eso posible? Long story short, long story short, en resumidas cuentas, fue a la 29 y terminé a la par de A y C. Descubrieron que la masa estaba toda desgastada. ¿Cómo es posible que, una masa, que un motor de arranque que había comprado en enero se haya desgastado tanto la masa interna? Y acabándolo de probar y habiéndolo andado toda la semana sin ningún problema, solo eso que no encendí. O sea, en otras palabras, me cambiaron la masa en el AIC de San Antonio. No vayan ahí. So sad. Pero al final, mañana me dicen si hay masas disponibles que valen 60 dólares. Y lo bueno también es que encontré un motor de arranque original, bueno, mexicano, Bosch, en la Continental. Y me lo van a dar en 100 en lugar de 225 por un relajo. Entonces, estamos bien. No eh, pasa teacher, nada. Sí, teacher, y el motor de arranque, yo le sugiero que no lo arregle. ¿Que no? Que, que no lo arregle, que lo cambie. Sí, eso voy a hacer. Muy probablemente, muy probablemente no, no me salga conveniente comprar una masa nueva de 60 dólares o comprar un motor de arranque nuevo de 100. O sea... El problema de Irwin es que ya no existen, solo hay un motor de arranque en la Continental y nadie lo va a llegar a traer porque es de mi carro, es de 1978, así es de que. Pero no hay 78 al suyo. Uh -huh. Es un clásico. <risa> Qué interesante. Classic. 
Es el filtro. Ah, y hoy encontré la, el flotador del tanque de gasolina de un cabrio. Se lo voy a modificar y lo voy a instalar. El mismo sistema, pero en la varilla más larga. Anyways. Ay, no, ya no los aburro con mi relajo. Y me siento feliz porque al final todo el mundo me dice lo mismo siempre. Tenés algo único. And I love that. I just love it. El mensaje para mis hijos de ese carro va a ser, se murió mi tata, ah, chivo. El mensaje de este carro es, solo el que te conoce te va a valorar. Solo el que te conoce te va a valorar. Mucha gente me dice, una basura ese carro. Pero los que saben, ayer desconté, 3.500 me estaban ofreciendo. Y yo, no. Thank you. No. That's the way it is. You are, you worth what you are. You worth what you are. It's very important, don't you think? Okay, no more Spanish. It was just a story. So let's see. We are 16. Throw me the ball. What do you remember about yesterday? There was a homework. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Mike is saying, oh, no, 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 no homework, no homework. I don't know. Come on. What was the homework? I told you something about it. I said, prepare, think about. Mm -hmm. What was the homework? Think about a company which placement, which plays, and um, promotions don't match. Think about a place, or I'm sorry, a company that selected or chosen their place incorrectly, wrongly, you know, they, cho they chosen the wrong place, they chosen the wrong place. Did you do it? Did you think about a national company that was in the incorrect place? No. Nope. A quick example. Tonight, we're going to talk about promotions, right? Can you define what are promotions? We've seen this before. Okay. Uh -huh. What are promotions in your own words? Exactly. For example, buy two, get one free. Buy two, get one free. Come on. Uh, something to maybe increase the sales. Okay, something. Let's call it a strategy. And strategy to increase sales. Okay. <clears throat> a strategy to, to increase sales. What else? What else? Promotions, promotions, promotions. Sure. Mm -hmm. The many customers change how to buy something. Yes? Mm -hmm. How to buy, how to buy. And many companies have to change how to sell. Yes? Mm -hmm. For example, do you remember if the year ago, Toyota in the United States had a dealer? Toyota? Have a dealer in the United States. Mm -hmm. And now you can see the difference. Tesla don't have a dealer. Tesla doesn't have a dealer. Yeah. This is a near with the customer. Hmm. Wait, they do their whole uh, sales process and their customer service directly? Directly. Directly. 
I want, I saw a video about it in artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence in the Tesla vehicles reports the status of the vehicle to Tesla, right? That's crazy. Yes. You're right. Oh my God. That's direct. And I, I think you can customize your cars in Tesla. The way you want them? Uh, you can customize your car, for example, uh, the color, uh, the extras. You can choose uh, what you want in, the, in your car. Wow. Just like Maseratis and Ferraris? Yes. Oh my God, that sounds crazy. I mean, for, for example, Ferrari mm -hmm. have a dealer in the world. Mm -hmm. Tesla don't have a dealer in the world. Tesla doesn't, doesn't have doesn't have third person. Tesla doesn't have a dealer in the world. Hmm. Okay, they don't have a distribution channel. They just send you the car, and that's it. Are there Teslas in El Salvador? No yet. I've seen some. Mm -hmm. I've seen some Ferraris. During the last three years, it's like more often. You know, I'm seeing more Ferraris. Uh, I saw a Maserati recently, and I was like, "What? That's crazy." Okay, interesting. So, direct customer service, direct technical support, direct sale. I guess they're expensive. Okay. Hmm. What will happen if Tesla comes to El Salvador to sell their cars? Mm, not many people can. Could? Buy them. Mm -hmm. Not many people could buy them. Why? Um, because they are expensive. And meaning that we, or Salvadorians, couldn't afford them. Okay, Salvadorians couldn't afford them. Salvadorians couldn't afford a Tesla. What else? Is, is our market designed to drive Teslas? How much is it? How, How much, much is, is a Tesla? Tesla? Mm -hmm. What's the price of a Tesla? Mr. Google, are you here? Okay. Let's do, let's just no, we don't have Google today. Google is down, people. Google is down. <laughs> Mayday, Mayday. Mayday, he's not here. Okay, think about it. Tesla, El Salvador, pros and cons. Okay, pros and cons. I'm going to do the attendance. Meanwhile, just think about that. Thank you for the topic, Irwin. That, that's really interesting. What's the price of a Tesla? Do we have conditions to conduct, to drive Teslas? Ada, Susana, Caceres, Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. 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 Thank you. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martinez. Present teacher. Oh, wow. I, I am driving. Okay, be careful. Thank you. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Good. Yuri Vladimir por Cruz Ventura. Thank you. Uh, present teacher. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Great. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaña Arellana. Yep. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Hey, there you are. 
Okay. Werner Mauricio Reyes Angel. Werner, not here yet. Okay. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Wasn't Jocelyn around here? Thought I saw her. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Yeah. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Excellent. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Hmm. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Not yet, okay. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Not here yet too, okay. Bien, señores, muchas gracias por unirse a esta clase de nuevo. Eh, 17, give me just a minute, 17 and four, that's 21. And yes, I have 21 students. Thank you for being here and not being drinking at a bar, exposing, <laughs> exposing yourself to COVID, uh, thinking about your families, you know, instead of going outside, putting yourself at risk and many others, you are taking an English class. Okay. Bravo, it's really good. Okay. Sure. Hey. Uh, the price of uh, Tesla uh, of the 21, 2021 is around, yeah, 2021 is around uh, 150,000. I'm sorry, come again. 100... 150,000. 50,000. Oh, it's cheaper. That's the cheapest. Okay, the price of a 2021 Tesla is about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And the okay. lower price is the forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand. What? What year? Um, I'm not sure of the year. Uh, the source is in wool. It's, uh -huh. it's general price. It's the general price. That's the standard. Let's say. Let's say that's the less. Ex the less expensive. The, the cheaper. Le the least expensive. Uh -huh. Sorry, least expensive. Yeah. The cheapest one. Okay, so can we afford a Tesla in El Salvador? In my no. case, not everyone. But... Hey, it's a promotion. It's a promotion. You can buy a Tesla for seventy thousand dollars. Okay. Still, is that a good promotion? Now, oh, picture, picture this. There is, there is a dealer, there's a dealer branch. There's a dealer branch for Tesla in El Salvador, okay? They come to El Salvador, they offer big discounts. It's not 150, you're just gonna pay $100,000. What other promotions could they bring? What other promotions could they bring with, the, with their product? Only the web, only the web. Only in the internet. Only, the only in the internet. web, only in the only internet. The, only that, only that, incredible, incredible. What do you mean? No, no television, no radio, nothing, nothing. What do you mean? Do you mean, the? Do you, are you talking about the marketing the strategy? The, the communication, promotion and like communication. Tesla in the communication, uh -huh. only choose the internet. Only chooses the internet to for their promotions, their marketing campaigns. They don't even have a, a marketing campaign, I think. And maybe, maybe in twenty years, twenty years, in the next twenty years, we have a electrical car in Salvador. Okay, years. but let's let's make a supposition. They okay. come to El Salvador. They have a huge shop. They have a huge shop in Metro Centro, okay? Grupo Q is gone. Tesla Group is now in Metro Centro. Number one, we cannot afford it. We cannot afford it. Okay, fine. What's, what are the factors, the pros, 
okay, the pros and the cons for this company. It's already here, okay? So I want you as a group to think, think pros. Do you know what are pros? Yeah, what is yes. a pro? What is a, one of the pro factors? An advantage. An advantage, very good, good. And what is a con? The opposite of advantage. Disadvantage. <laughs> Disadvantage. Very good. Okay. So, what are the pros and cons? And this is a common way of saying what are the pro, you know, the advantages, and what are the cons, the disadvantages, advantages, advantages, disadvantages of having Tesla in El Salvador. And I don't want to say anything else because this is very simple. So, think about product. We saw product place, their location in El Salvador, promotion strategies. What promotions would you offer if you were Tesla? If you were Elon Musk, if, if you were Elon Musk, okay? Try to think about it. What could you do to introduce, okay? Your product to El Salvador's market. Interesting topic and it's a great idea. I needed a product and this is what I got. Thank you, Irving. It was a great idea. So let's discuss in small groups. is uh, have um, deal with IS or um, electrical uh, companies here in El Salvador to distribute, distribute um, the products and give uh, promotion about using electrical energy. Because those are electric cars. Yeah, because uh, for people using their cars need uh, substations, I think, I guess, like um, gas stations um, mm -hmm. will be uh, associated with uh, electrical company here in El Salvador will be a, mm -hmm. a good option. Mm -hmm. And what would be a, a let's think of a really nice um, promotion yeah. to introduce the product? Yeah. Promotion to introduce the product. What do you think, Ada? Special promotion to introduce this kind of cars? I don't know, special discount or something? A simple pricing promotion wouldn't be enough to. I don't, I don't know what's uh, the market they are. They are included with the pro. 
because um, I'm not sure about here in Sabal. Is people could buy that car? Mm. The maintenance price is very expensive, so maybe for Salvadorians, it's not possible to have a, that kind of cars. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't, we don't have enough money. <laughs> Maybe the, the, the spare parts. But when... how to analyze, 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 how you say analyze, analyze, Tesla about analyze, um, analyze. To come here, Sabo, because I don't know the market. The market. The market. Market. Yes, it's, it's very complicated because it's not a common technology in Salvador. We don't only have diesel and, and gasoline cars. Maybe so. Fuel, fuel, fuel cars. Fuel cars. Uh -huh. I only have to, have to change or cars. you had to adapt this own system for for separate charge. Only, only for filthy people. <laughs> filthy people. What? Sorry. F filthy. Filthy. <laughs> oh yeah, rich. <laughs> oh okay. Rich. <laughs> yeah, the filthy rich. right. Filthy, uh, filthy is dirty, dirty, uh, wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. But I, wealthy. I, yeah, there is a word like fit wealth. I don't remember. Well, wealthy, good job. Okay, just for wealthy people, uh huh? Just for wealthy people, maybe this, uh, the company only can sell to the rich people the company can only sell can only the company sell. can only sell okay. to rich people yes because average people it's not possible to buy average car. for average people it's not possible to buy that kind of card okay yes mm -hmm. but if if we can have a Customers, that kind of customers. Maybe it's possible to sell cars, but not too much cars. Okay, what will need to happen in El Salvador to be ready for this product? The first thing I think is the the car shop car shop how do you say that yeah the car shop yes car shop uh huh so sorry I thought that you were that you are thinking <laughs> you no, were thinking tenía que estornudar y y ando un dolor fuerte en el abdomen mañana tengo una Una resonancia magnética para ver qué onda. Un escáner o lo que sea, como se diga esa cosa. Man, every time I cough or I sneeze, it hurts like hell. Really bad. But anyways, okay. What we need to change in El Salvador for a product of this kind to be introduced? Or economy. Or accepted. Or yeah or yeah or we can change our economy we will need to change uh, we will need to change or sure our economy economy oh. our economy um providing good good position good job or yeah it's like yeah income 
or inject the in the economy through entrepreneur people entrepreneurs you think mm -hmm. that's the way you inject um hmm, that's not the right word you think that's the way you increase the economy wealth economy wealth in a society by having more businesses perhaps because you create uh to create more opportunities for okay. working it has to do with it definitely mm -hmm. okay keep going okay that car those cars are really expensive for us but maybe the one of those strategy can be the at Sabor can receive Could. a basic basic a uh, 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 basic cars with a full full extras and maybe that way you you are going to down the price over here you're going to reduce the price mm -hmm. you are you talking about creating a competitor there is a competitor on the market um, for, tesla? for tesla who is it yes it's, it is a chinese company they are neo um it is, they have a good projection of the future. Um, maybe we can analyze that kind of company. Maybe they are more cheaper. They are they are creating more cheap, uh, cheaper cars. Oh, oh, oh. Cheaper cars, there you go. <laughs> They're creating cheaper cars. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the difference about hybrid car is what is I don't know. Do you think? Do you do you know? I'm sorry. Come again. Hybrid hybrid car. What is the difference between a hybrid and an electric car? Yes. Uh, is the combination of both. A hybrid car, when you stop at a stoplight. And the semaphore, the stoplight, you stop the car, the electric engine continues moving the, the car. Wait, no, it's the opposite. The gasoline engine starts working. When you push the gas, when you push the gas, the electric motor continues working. You stop again, you have the fuel. You run again, you have the electricity going. That's that's the way. That's crazy. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. And, um, Toyota Prius, the Prius cars, they work like that. Electricity and fuel. Okay. Thank you so much. It's mm -hmm. good to know. Okay. Hey, look at your WhatsApp. I send you some words that you can use. And a second question, what will need to change in El Salvador for a product of this kind to be introduced or accepted? What will we need to change? Maybe the incomes. The incomes or the, um, the, the, the roads? Poder adquisitivo. Poder adquisitivo. No, how do you say poder adquisitivo in English? Acquisition in power? No, I don't think so. There's got to be a more fancy term for poder adquisitivo. There's a word. There is a word. Hold on. Chasing power? No. Purchasing power. Purchasing power? No. <laughs> Sounds weird. <laughs> Purchasing power. Hmm. Buying power. Buying power. Acquisition. Acquisitive. Acquisitive power. <laughs> Spending capacity. Spending capacity. Man, there's a lot of ways to do it. And that's a that's a good point. So what, what will need to happen with the acquisition in power? I will say. What will need to happen with our 
acquisition capability in El Salvador in general? Maybe that people going to buy this kind of cars because the Salvadorian people are consumist, consumist. Consumist by nature. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Consumists. Okay, so that's good. I mean, they will find a lot of buyers. Yes. Okay. But not ready buyers unless the economy increase, unless the economy increases. Unless the economy increases. I got your point. Okay, keep going. We're almost done. Okay. Exclusively, exclusively. What happened, Carol? Caroline? Oh is, my God! <laughs> is, 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 my. Is, is Alan bugging you? Is Alan bugging you? Alan is bugging me. Yeah. Alan is bugging you, Caroline, because I saw you three <laughs> times outside. Because the salista three times in the salon. What's up? No bullying. No I bullying. Don't know. No bullying. Hey, I send you something to the to the WhatsApp. Serena playing with you. <laughs> She's playing with you. Yeah. Uh-huh. I send you some things on the WhatsApp so you could use them. Um what will need to change in our market in El Salvador for a Tesla vehicle. So I just, I just, I just receive a present. You see that? Oh, you cannot see it. The light. Oh my God! Because those are green. <laughs> you cannot see them. I can, I can't believe it. Oh my God! Well, it's money. Anyways, a lot of money. Ten dollars <laughs> for your cars. Exactly. No, for the, for the guitar. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Oh yeah. That's good. 150. I had to buy a new a new guitar for the church, for church. So I just got paid. Okay. So what will need to change in our market in El Salvador to bring Teslas? Mm, many many elements for example even um, first the i don't remember how do you say poder acquisitivo <laughs> acquisition in power <laughs> acquisition in power or buy you can say buy in power <laughs> buy in purchasing power buy in power yes mm -hmm. buy in powers uh if we are talking about population over Salvador, um, even the roads. The roads, man. It's not attractive. Our roads are not attractive enough for a Tesla, mm -hmm. for a Ferrari, for a Honda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today I it was a nightmare going around San Salvador, going to La 29, going to many, many holes on the on the road were too many holes it's incredible okay so that's what we'll, we'll need to change what about the buyer's perception of the product a good seller a good seller knows that every person's got a perception of their product everybody's got an idea and a good seller has empathy. Empathy in the way of thinking, you know, I am a customer too. I'm a seller, okay, I'm a business owner, but I'm a customer too, so, and you are realistic, you know. For example, if you sell, I don't know, if you sell cars, you must know that your cars are not the best in the world. There's competitors and they have better vehicles. Maybe, right? That makes sense, right? So in that, from that perspective, 
customers have their own mindset about your product. And if they look for you, maybe you were not the first option, but right? Yeah. Okay. So in that sense, how do you change people's mind? And do you think that environmental, I don't know, uh, environmental concern is among Salvadorians people's mind? You think we think about environment change, climate change? Do we think about climate change? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm talking too much. Let me just go to the last group. Now let's go back for once. Let's go back. Product, please. Okay. What are the four P's? Oh, wait. Let's wait for the others. The others. Have you seen that movie, Caroline? The others. No, I didn't see it. And you didn't see. see it? You didn't see it? Nicole Kidman? The Seek. The Seek? No, it's called The Others. Yeah, but, but it's Seek. <laughs> what? Who's, oh, you mean the movie is Seek? It, okay. It's insane. Yes? <laughs> That's the way they name it in Spain? I don't get it. El bromas. Yeah. El bromas. Yeah, it's, it's in the same. Okay. So if you haven't watched it, I will recommend it to you, the others. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, we're back. I was about to say something and I forgot it. Oh my God. Four Ps. Thank you. Okay, what are the four Ps? Quickly. Right, promotion, place, and product. Good. Price, promotion, place, and product. So, promotion. Can you apply promotion to the other three Ps? Can you apply promotion to you, to the other three Ps? Be creative. Can you apply promotion to the product? Yeah. How? How? In the place, uh, some uh, some company uh, have a uh, 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 outlets. They have outlets. Oh, uh, hey, that's a great point. One of one applause for Ivan. It's true. Yes, they have outlets. What do they sell in the outlets, Ivan? <laughs> The damaged merchand merchandise. No damaged. <laughs> no damage. Damage. Uh, they oh, don't pass the quality control for the, their standards. Oh, mm -hmm. it didn't meet the standards, Sulema. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the old products. Uh, for example, um, the old. Uh, I I know how to. I don't know how I to don't say. I know how to say uh, old, pro old product lines. Old, yeah, old product, product line. lines. Old product like lines. Out of season. Sell. Wait, wait, wait. Out of season products. Uh, like Sarah. Out of season products. Go, come again, Sarah. Um, Who was talking? Who was talking, William? Sarah. I, I was oh, talking I uh -huh. Tara, what is Tara? Tara, Sara. Tara. Oh, Sara, Sara. Okay. Sara, Sara, Sara. Okay, I got you. Okay, uh, we said out of season. What what's wrong with Sara, Ivan? There is nothing wrong with Sara. Uh, no, I mean what's the matter with <laughs> Sara? They uh Sara is when okay. They change the season, uh the clothes or or the merchandise is uh 
lower price to the regular. Why? Uh, it's a, a label, a policy right? Of the, uh, their enterprise. Okay. Actually, it's for the, the, the kind of store. They work like with trends and they need to change in order to um, avoid to contrast money. Contrast the the look of the image from Tinsels. I got you. It's, it's just, it's, yeah. Out of trend, out of trend merchandise, out of season yeah. merchandise. I got you. Okay, so we continue talking about promotions in the store. So let's say that Sara, Sara has like ten branches. Let's say in El Salvador. How would you feel? If one day only one store of Sara in Santa Ana has the 50% discount in everything in the store, just the one in Santa Ana. Yo ya me voy para Santa Ana. <laughs> so, yeah, Caroline will go to Santa Ana, right? Suleyma, do you like Sara yeah. girls or Forever 21? Mm, no, Bershka. I don't buy inside. Bershka. Bershka? Pullenberg. 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 What is the What is the most uh, famous store right now? I, I'm out of I'm out of date. I'm outdated. I'm sorry. I'm outdated with that. What's the most famous store right now? I, I, Irene, Caroline, Leima, girls. Uh, in Santa Ana, I like the cloud of Exposé. Exposé, I heard about Exposé. But what's it's the trend? Quality. It's a good quality. It, they have good quality. Uh, yeah, they have um, many lines. Mm. And the price is really good. Prices are really good. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But what's the trend, Sandra? What's the trend, Heidi? Among <laughs> girls right now, if you think about, oh, I need a nice dress. Okay. I need a nice dress. Where do you go? Mia Volga. What? Mia Volga. Mia Volga. Volga. Is that Boga? Bo Boga. 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 Is that Italian? Like both. I don't know, but it's in Antiguo. Yeah. Yeah. It's in Antiguo? Oh. There's one in Antiguo and there is another in Santa Elena. Oh. oh. I didn't know about that store. Good to know. Prices? Reasonable? Yeah. Accessible? <laughs> I, I love your face, Aidy. It's like, mm. I think, mm. okay, good. That's the point. So, so you're applying, Ivan started applying promotions to the place. You got the point, right? Only one store out of my whole line of branches, only one store has this promotion. Have you heard about this promotion? Only one store has the promotion. Uh, in Super Selectos, yes, because sometimes they have offers, for example, in Ciudad Real, and it's only in that in that place, not in, in Santa branch. Ana, not in San mm -hmm. Salvador. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Wow. And it's just, well, yeah, that makes sense. They're not the same, the same offers in all the branches. Oh, okay. Another example of a company with multiple branches offering just one branch promotion. Come on. I think it depends of, the, of your target, of your, uh, for example, the target market. For example, I remember um, a long time ago, I go to the I went to? shop. I went to the shop to buy, uh, I have to say, uh, tinte para el pelo. Tinte para el pelo. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, he left uh, me. Hair I wanted a, a red color, a red color, and the, yeah, mm -hmm. and the people 
that have had in this has in the store tell me that they don't have the the color that that I need because in that branch that color have a lot of demand but in Santa Ana this color uh, they don't don't sell it and they have no they uh, they were waiting to the product of the San, the branch of Santa Ana hmm that's interesting. I mean, why? Why will that happen? Okay, I'm not gonna say anything. That will be discrimination. But hmm, agropecuarian people. In Santa people, Ana, the people say. prefer blonde, and in Ciudad Real, the people prefer uh, reddish, red hair, red, red hair. hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about? Oh, so. People from San Salvador, I mean, girls from San Salvador are more natural? I don't know. <laughs> That's an interesting topic for a trend. Uh, yeah, market. Uh, what did I say before? Sectorization. No, there's a word for this. Market segmentation. Market segmentation. Hey, that's an interesting topic. Okay, another one. That's a good point. I think it depends on the product. Sometimes they, they just need to move the inventory. Oh, to rotate mm -hmm. the inventory. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Haiti in the bank, do you segmentate the market to our first yes, we, products? Mm, yeah, sometimes mm. we, we, we Oh, we're Any, losing. Um, we're losing special you. Special branches, the ones that are in are inside a shopping mall, usually. Mm -hmm. The ones that are inside a shopping mall. So, okay, mm -hmm. let's talk about. Or sometimes products. we. Have mm -hmm. you ever? Have you ever received? Have you ever received a, a, an email? For example, when 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 you can pay your your supermarket account with your with your mias. With your mm -hmm. points, you haven't. I have. I have uh -huh. used my. I have used my bank and points to pay for something. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. For example, we usually say a fifty percent discount if you pay with with your points. With your miles. Selecto Santa Elena. Oh. Uh -huh. or Selecto Santa Elena or Selecto Multiplaza. Really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting, but and the guys um, from selectors they say they they suffer that day because a lot of people gets to buy with the points. Wow. Hey, I wasn't aware of that. I knew that it worked with pharmacies. It works with pharmacies very well. Mm -hmm. Didn't know you were doing that with supermarkets. Amazing. Now we're back. You like that that how do you call that? Co-branding, right? Co-branding. Branding. Mm -hmm. A lot of co-branding. Now my question, let's go with promotion. So that was promotion, place. What about promotion and product? Going back to you, Haiti. The bank offers different products, but during the last five years, I noticed a, a huge, a tremendous change in one thing, credit cards. How did I notice? I saw many agents, remember yesterday, distribution channels, agents at the point of microbuses, you know, in El Puerto de Libertad. We used to have a microbus in El Puerto de Libertad, okay? And they got there to offer credit cards. They were just doing the whole process there, you know, with the cobradores, you know, with the drivers as well. They were like, okay, how much are you making a month? I'm making like oh, $600. Okay, we can offer you a credit card with $1,000 right now. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow. That's a specialized channel. That special. does that. Mm -hmm. the interesting, a product, mm -hmm. a line of yeah. product, a line of product that you can offer to a specific uh, segment of the market. Now that's applying the promotion directly to a product. And this is more, this is easier. I was about to make the same mistake, Alan. More easier. No, who said it? More easier. <laughs> you don't say, oh my God. Yeah, easier, easier. 
Okay, this is easier. So give me examples. What kind of promotions are the most common that you have seen on products? Two by one. Two by one. Discount in the second and discount in the third one. Mm -hmm. So the more you get, the more discount you get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What else? Really? <laughs> That's it? No, no. The banks are starting to offer credit cards without membership. Mm. That is true. They just offer me a card um, with no membership for two years. No, teacher. No, I mean... Ever. Uh, well, Ever. Hold on. Yeah, I think it's forever. I can't remember. Uh -huh, forever. I, I just I just got it. I think it. it's about the law. It's, it's the new law that is coming. Yeah, I think it's about that. Yeah. It's that, coming, it's coming, but not yet. Not yet, but you know, every idea that we had that our president, sorry, president, that he's got mm -hmm. becomes reality, right? <laughs> it might be, it might be true. Okay. It's true. Okay. What else? What else? Product promotions. Where's Jocelyn? Not here today. Caroline. Mm. For example, 50% <laughs> uh, in the second product. Or if we were, if we are talking about service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the company give a, uh, uh, how do you say, a car, and they put, uh, how do you say, sale? A seal. Seal. So that's if you continue to to buy the service. You're talking about your car wash. <laughs> that's that's a loyalty program caroline very good it's a loyalty program who has a loyalty card do you have a loyalty card of any business only in the sewer <laughs> <laughs> really no that's a reliquia that, yeah that's a souvenir that's a souvenir from what was the name of the sewer cafes Omnicentro, I can what was the name of the, those places? Infocentro, right? A relique, okay, yeah, souvenir. Uh, what uh, about Lerradura, William? Do you have a yeah, a loyalty card? <laughs> I don't know no, why I like playing with William. I'm just kidding. I, I got one in Cafe Talon. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, teacher. Uh-huh. When you, uh, by example, in these subscriptions, if you pay a uh, full year, uh, the price is low. Lower? Lower, but you pay monthly. Okay. Um, by the example, I bought a- uh, What? Bought mm -hmm. uh, an antivirus an for antivirus. three years. Uh -huh. Antivirus for three years. And I say uh, almost seventy dollars. That's a good example. A big discount to continue with the product. Okay, so promotion directly applied to the product. Um, loyalty. Does loyalty have to do with the product? So again, we have product, place, promotion. And price. 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 So we're touching the price with Ivan's example. With Caroline's example, a loyalty program is oriented to the product. Let me give you an example. In the United States, I uh, well, in my company, the prepaid cards, you know, they're very common 
in places where they sell tires, for example, you buy the four tires, you buy the four tires, and they give you a $50 or $100 gift card, a prepaid card for two years. I mean, you have two years to spend $100. Is that a promotion applied to the product or to the price? To the product. To the product, okay. Someone else? What do you think? I think to the product because you have to buy four. If you buy three, mm -hmm. you can apply to the, to the gift card. To the promotion, good job. Okay, what if there's a variable? There's a variable sometimes where you can only spend the hundred dollars on the business. <laughs> so you get the four tires, you get the hundred dollars. Hey, but come on, your car, you need oil, you need, uh, you need spark plugs, you know, you need maintenance, right? So it's good. And they give you a good price. They give you a loyalty card. I don't know. That's a good program actually. Okay. So we apply promotions to the place, promotions to the product, promotions to the price, okay. And what's what has been the most shocking, the most impressive promotion you ever heard of in your entire life? We're adults here, we're all adults. So what is the most incredible promotion that you ever had mm -hmm. in your life? I want you to think about it just for a minute while I do the attendance one more time. Think. The most incredible promotion in your life. Just one second. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Awesome. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present, teacher. Good. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Thank you. Juan Jose, I'm sorry. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Okay. Miguel Ángel Paz, Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. There he is. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Sorry, Werner is not here yet, right? No. Okay. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca, Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Jardín Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Thank you. Okay. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay, so what has been the most incredible promotion that you have ever participated on? Discount of 70% in a box of chocolates. What? What kind yeah. of chocolates? I don't remember the, the, the brand but they were so delicious <laughs> and i remember they were so close to expiring but no matter because the chocolates died when i, I ate them <laughs> yeah they didn't die they're not alive <laughs> you're about to die come here yeah. oh my god hey one by one it's true right <laughs> It's a, a common promotion. Walmart, Walmart sells many products that are about to expire. You know, not such about, 
let me give you a, an example. They sell typically, you know, Reese's, chocolate Reese's with peanut butter, chocolate mm -hmm. peanut butter. They have a, a product that brings like five. It has like five little products. So two of those for like 250. It's, it's oh my God, that was amazing. I got your point. Another one. Promotion, promotion. Okay, you haven't thought about it. Beers, guys, come on. Uh, coffee, <laughs> uh, next cafe. Mm -hmm. uh, the big one, two for one. Wow, okay. Okay, I have three kids, right? There's a promotion that, in, that was incredible for me with audio. audio. Audio had a promotion where you could get a code, a code on every little packet of cookies. You enter that code online and participate on a raffle. And it was a raffle of an original, um, what's his name? Oh my God, Optimus Prime an original Optimus Prime, metallic. Guess what? We were keeping, we were keeping all of the coats <laughs> in the closet of one of my kids, in my kid's closet. They spent six months in the closet. One day I opened the closet and there were a whole lot of ants, a lot of ants, on the on the stickers with the codes so we dropped them away guess what happened one week later they called and they said hey one of your codes won the prize you have an optimus prime <gasps> and i was like do i need the code tell me that i don't need the code you need the code i was like oh damn it <laughs> I was, that was terrible. I cried. I cried. I was like, and I didn't tell my kids because if I, oh my God, that was crazy. That was a great promotion. Okay. <laughs> you got my example. Give me another example. I only have Suleiman in the, in the class. Come on, guys. In my, in my case, uh, on Black Friday, uh, both a cell phone with a 50% discount and it's a, it was a last generation cell phone mm. and yeah and it's it was the it was for my wife a gift and my my, my 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 wife is oh thank you I love you girl. It's a, it's a normal. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. you you saved the day. Yeah, it's a good pro promotion. I I remember. Man, that was wow! You saved the day, Elvin. That was amazing. Okay. But in, in for example, in the Black Friday, that is coming. You have to be careful because I remember uh, around. Two years. Mm -hmm. I go to a. I went to. I went to a, a, a shop in Metro Centro, and I saw a product that I wanted. And I saw the price. The price was uh, forty dollars, and I say, "Well, uh, I am. I will waiting for the. Are we wait Black for Friday. The Black Friday. Let me wait for mm -hmm. Black Friday." <laughs> and I went in the Black Friday in surprise. The product was with the $50, $10 more. That That's happening right now with some tires in Walmart. They said the regular price was 37. The new price is 34. And they were actually 34 last week. So... Yeah, and uh, and I asked and, and I said, "What happened with the price? The last month was forty, and now it's fifty, and 
<laughs> it's a promotion. No, 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 you are wrong. Okay. No, it's a promotion. <laughs> Good, so we understood the concept. We have promotions everywhere. Now you need to apply a product. Create a product on your group and apply the best promotions as possible. Think about loyalty of the customer, everything that we talked about, apply it to a product in your group. Then you come to the front and you're going to make a spot, a TV spot, a, spot? a TV spot, a TV ad, an advertisement for your product. You are going to act. <laughs> Okay, you make the movie. you're going to act right now, okay? I don't know how to do this. Hold on. Hey, what's up? I have great news for you. I'm selling tires today. Guess what? If you buy four tires, I'm going to give you two tires off, okay? You just need to pay $100 on a gift card, and the other two tires are free. Okay, I'll give you a gift card for $100 and you come back to use those $100 on my business. Does that sound like a deal? Okay, come. That was a commercial. That was an ad, an advertisement. Man, Americans are awesome on this. So think about it. What did I apply there? I'm inviting people to come to my business, number one. Number two, what is that? Product promotion two, okay. Buy two, buy four, for the price of two. But at the same time, I'm giving you one hundred dollars. You are giving me one hundred dollars. Okay, so I'm holding you. I'm keeping you as a client loyalty. All of that in what was it? Ten seconds. That's what I expect from you. Okay, be creative with your team. Everybody has to say something in your group, okay? Good. Si se quieren vestir de algo, distance, no se preocupen. Esto es algo muy creativo, so no, son mentiras. No, just talk, okay? <laughs> Make a commercial. Apply the promotion strategies to your product. So come up with a product, okay? Questions? Questions? No, I'm sorry. That's on the lesson plan. Are we plan. all going to participate or only one? No, todos tienen que participar, ¿ok? Decir algo pequeño del comercial, ¿ok? O hacerlo juntos, pueden hablar dos al mismo tiempo y, hey, ¿ya escuchaste o qué o ¿Ya en las clases? ¿Sí? ¿Y qué pasa? Ah, hay descuentos en la tela. ¿Really? ¿A dónde? Let's go. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me, okay? Sean creativos, hagan lo que puedan, que sea algo un poco gracioso, pero aplicando todo lo que hemos visto, okay? We clear? Good. Okay, guys. Let's have fun, okay? Let's go. Let's go, Doc. Se me conectó aquí esta cosita. Ok. Uh, exit. Uh -huh. For me, exit, no? It's more easy. <laughs> Easier. Which one? Tan fácil que es equivocarse con esa onda. Yes, more yeah. easy. Easier, easier. It's easier. It's, it's similar, bigger. <laughs> Big, bigger. bigger. It's more bigger. Big. Uh -huh. It's more bigger, yeah. Uh, it's bigger. Very good. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Y menos peor. Menos peor. Subir para arriba es. Oh, come on, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> stop it. It's the 15th. Guys, 
What, uh, what kind of girls are you going to choose or create? What do you think? I don't know. We, we can use uh, exit product teacher or create. Yeah, but put a, put a name on it. Put a name. Be creative. Okay. What is a trend right now in El Salvador? What is a trendy a trendy product? What is a trendy product in El Salvador? <gasps> mm, no, but that won't work. You the know, mask, but it's... the mask, <laughs> the clothes with El Salvador's logo. You know, the government mm. logo. That's a common trend right now. Everybody's like making, producing this kind of clothes with the logos. Um, but I don't know. I couldn't think about a commercial with for that. For this season, I don't know. I think that is Christmas uh, coming. Christmas coming. Yeah. Yeah. For example, for kids, uh, PS Five. <laughs> for another kind of people, I don't know TVs. <laughs> Yeah. Cell phone. Um, cell phone, yeah. So you're thinking like a hardware store. Okay. You're thinking about a, a regular business, you know, a store that sells TVs, cell phones, electronics. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can use Black Friday too. You can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now we're only thinking about the product. Mm hmm. Tight, yeah. tight everything. Remember the other three P's in function of the promotion. Okay. 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 Uh, if you want to taste something, something delicious, I invite you. I you say invite you. I invite you to. I invite you to taste something spectacular. Uh -huh. uh, chicken, uh, how you say? Rabbit chicken. <laughs> rabbit? I don't know if you taste rabbit chicken. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit chicken. chicken poop Wow, it's the same. It tasted almost the same, I think. Pupusas mm. with rabbit and chicken, okay. Are delicious. <laughs> They're delicious, okay. Sounds like it. Remember, it's a commercial that you have to build together and you have to say one little part each. Okay, I got it. I got it. Um, Heidi, you and me, uh, we can start with a conversation about dinner and that we don't know where to eat uh, for Friday. And there's, Jenny can say, you don't know how to eat dinner on Friday. You can try the crazy pupusa at Jenny Pupuserias with rabbit and chicken com with more sauce and more curtido for free. <laughs> okay. Johnny's, Johnny's, Johnny's pupas, Johnny's pupas. That's good. Well, <laughs> you have a tor tortilleria. No, how do you call this place where Pupu they sell seria. tortas? No, it's just that he has already a, 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 oh, a yeah. place in front of Las Oficinas del Seguro in Metro. The, tri the triangle, you know, where they sell tortas. No? Okay. There's a Johnny's. That's my favorite place to eat tortas. Johnny's. For 20 years, I've been going there from time to time. Johnny's, they're, they're very friendly. Commercial. <laughs> okay, keep going. So Johnny's Pupas. Okay. 
I like the idea. Keep going. Think about it. Okay. How do you how do you create loyalty? Discounts. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. I get. It's a promotion. Yeah, more but curtido, more sauce. Perfect. More sauce. You're just thinking about the ingredients. Think about the price. Oh well, free. Yeah, free. An add an add on. That's an add on. A plus of the product. Okay. How do you create loyalty? Mm. What about a contest? If you eat ten pupusas, the the count is on us. Your yeah. Your ticket is on us. Your bill is on us. And if you if you can eat two crazy pupusas, you have a discount and your next purchase. Free meal. Man, a crazy pupusa is like I don't know. I've never tried a crazy pupusa, and unfortunately, I will never do. Too fat. <laughs> okay, <laughs> keep going. Great job. Yes, I am talking to you. <laughs> I... You, you, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Me, me. Are you worried to be ugly and fat? Come on. Yeah. Now is your day. Today is your day. Come with us. <laughs> your turn. Uh, too late. Yes, too late. I'm already fat and I'm ugly. Already... So. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Hey, no, thank you. Stop being, stop being fat. Come with us to the gym and give us 50% okay. of discount. <laughs> What's in it for me? Acronym in English. What's in it for me? What's in it for me? That's new for me. What's in it mm -hmm. for me? Yo que gano. <laughs> <laughs> the Come opportunity to, to be healthy. Be fit. Be okay. Fit. If, if, you, if you stay with us three months, you can participate in an opportunity to win a sur uh, plastic surgery. <laughs> for my wife? <laughs> 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 oh my no, god uh, no 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 okay it's going to be like uh... you participate on the opportunity of winning a blonde girl oh. Oh. Ah, <laughs> expensive. <laughs> <Too much expensive. laughs> it's easy come on okay hey i like Who the idea <laughs> uh, no. uh, it's funny it's just it's funny <laughs> come on so you're thinking about a gym convince me mm -hmm. What will you do to get me underweight? What will you do to get me underweight? You're gonna are mm -hmm. you gonna stalk me? Are you gonna stalk me? Hello? Did you do your exercises today? Come on, do your exercise. Come to the gym. Every day? <laughs> no, not thank you. <laughs> are you going to <laughs> go for me and take me to the gym and bring me back? Hmm. <laughs> no, I give you the opportunity to reach your crush. To, to be a nice so, person. Is, is, <laughs> that's a joke. That's a joke. First month, first month with our program. Okay, you a blonde girl, a blonde girl knocks your door. You open the door, <laughs> and the blonde girl says, Hey, if you catch me, I'm yours. And she starts running. <laughs> you catch her, it is yours. Mm -hmm. That was the first week. Every day during the first week, you run before her. Second week. <laughs> okay, second week. <laughs> what was the second week? A red-haired, beautiful woman knocks at your door. She's more athletic. Okay? If you catch me, I'm yours. She runs away and you follow her. Right? For a week, again, you catch her. Third week, a black man knocks at your door <laughs> and he says, <laughs> If I catch you, you're mine. You're mine. <laughs> oh my I God. prefer being fat. I prefer you, being fat. <laughs> you will reduce weight, of course. That's a crazy Literally. joke. That's a crazy joke. Why do I? You prefer being fat. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Man. On the, on the third week. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey, think about it. So a gym, loyalty. How do you generate loyalty for a gym? It's easy. That's easy. Discounts, prices. Uh, souvenirs. Group. Remember, you need an alero, right? To go to the gym. So hey, if come with your come with your, your pal and give a 50% for you know for what's funny? Month. You know what's funny? Some gyms offer you tickets to go to Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> ironic. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's crazy. Hey. It's yeah, a it's good a way good to... strategy because yeah. strategy for what? Yeah, because you are for, <laughs> for permanent client. Permanent <laughs> remnants, okay. Yeah. You will be at the gym the whole life. Okay. Think about it. Make it fun is a commercial. So go ahead. Prepare. We're almost done. Okay. <laughs> there are different uh prom there are in the store there are different promotions is you prefer um, an iPhone, iPhone uh, gives uh, different uh, different uh, application for this cell phone. If you want, if you prefer this uh, this cell phone, uh, change you change you your life because there are many application used in your world and your uh, when you uh, travel different country can use uh, for example. Translate. There are different traductor and different uh, language. Uh, the, no, there are, yeah, and, and there are the different characteristic. And this all, for example, the camera so very very great. So this in this moment in the market, no uh, similar that doesn't similar this camera and is in the Apple give different promotion for the app can use and um, can use uh, for example uh in this if you want if you if you want to listen to music there are many there are many uh app can use and, it, and this is very very great this phone it and then uh, today uh this is uh, this to this store uh we have uh this con uh, that the discount is 50 percent is if you uh buy today that's awesome are you sending I apple phones yeah what well, i don't know what do you think uh l erwin uh, you prefer uh iphone or prefer uh samsung remember i am going to give you a 50 percent too and i'm going to give you a uh, Amazon Prime video in, in Amazon Photo and Amazon Music. Kindle. Okay. For one year, free. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> it is a competition here. Yeah. Okay. I like go. it. Begin. Uh, if you buy a Samsung, Samsung S21, I am going to give you a good offer, uh, a big discount, and I'm going to give you a one year in Amazon Prime. That include that include uh, Amazon Amazon Photo. You can don't out, upload all oh, photos download. that you want. Oh, upload. U upload all photos that you want. You are going to have access to Amazon Music. You are going to have Amazon Video. You are going to have um, Amazon Books. One book free for a month. And let me see what else. Oh, that's it. It's a complete just, promotion. Just for the first year, it is going to be free for you. <laughs> what do you prefer? We I prefer something. Good, excellent. <laughs> we can uh, yeah. update. We can. You are going to update a new version with a problem that is going to have. You don't have that opportunity with the Apple because the Apple is something 
something exchange with that. They can permit it that the actualization upgrade at the uh, system operate operate system. Good, excellent. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to send you the phone at your house, okay? <laughs> now let's now let's do it live. Let's go live with this. Almost there, almost there. Ensayamos. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Mm, not ready. <laughs> so after me, who is the next? I'm the next, I like, guess. The next way. You. Uh, yeah, the Karen, the name of the, uh, the company. And show uh, a short introduction, introduction. Then, then who is the next? Add our building. Yo tengo la, la promoción. No sé si voy ahí. Bien mm salvadoreño -hmm. se no Bien salvadoreño se no es. Le tengo la promoción, mi amor. Venga. I'm sorry. Así le contéle. No, pero es que estoy tan acostumbrado a que me digan. Contéle, eso. amor. <risa> toque, oh toque. God. Toque, toque. <risa> Man. Una vez mi, mi esposa se nos una vez íbamos, íbamos en el terminal de Occidente. No me acuerdo qué andábamos haciendo, éramos novios. Soy, y me jaló una de las bichas que andaba ahí que, para el bus, vea. A Santa Ana, mi amor, venga, venga, mi amor. Y me dice, ¡ay, pero eso me le hiciste, bola de mío! Le, y yo, ¿qué te pasa? Eh? Oh, so crazy. Ok, ¿ready? Ready to perform? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh let's God. do it. Okay, let's go. You can do it, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Tengo que lograr que vuelvas conmigo. Seguiré intentando todo Bárbaro, tipo galletas, de tipo. cosas. Vuelve conmigo. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Saben que ese tipo se inventó esa canción para ganarse un premio en la femenina? ¿Sí sabían? No. 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 no o sea, de la nada. Parece que sí era cierto que, que se había separado con la novia. Y dijeron, necesitamos hacer un jingle. ¿Cómo es? Un, um, sí, jingle. Para, para las galletas. Ey, y ganó. ¿A quién no se le pegó esa canción? Wow. Y el anuncio era súper chivo, o sea, hasta aquí lo tengo en la cabeza. Cuando llega la tip le dicen, no eres. Hmm. Ok, y después le enseña la galleta y es como que, no, bueno, pues. La galleta <risa> tóxica. Ok, ready. Hey, creatividad, me creatividad. Hay un comercial de in cama sin dufón que aún no han creado. Un tipo se levanta todo aruñado de su cama todos los días. Y después enfoca en el colchón y un montón de resortes sentados. ¿Cansado de su cama? Mm. 
have a question. Uh -huh. uh, can we use a song for our participation? Sure. No. For, no. For ¿Que alguien más haga el efecto, el efecto de sonido? <laughs> For the longest time, oh, Ivan. For the longest time, <laughs> Ivan's got it. Yeah, it's okay, Miguel. It's up to you. Is your creativity? Compliment each other. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, and I go with group number one, composed by Andres, Irene, Ivan, Miguel, and Sandra. Okay. DJ, please stop. Black Friday is coming. Come on, DJ. Or the winter is coming. No, it's Black Friday is coming. <laughs> <laughs> is coming Hi, Trocon. Microphone. Mute microphone. Okay. I say the promotion. <laughs> Okay. 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 okay, oh my okay. god, okay. it's an excellent promotion, Sandra, the Black Friday is coming soon, we need to uh, buy this, this product, go to get it for, for buy? Black Friday is, is coming soon. Waste your money in the Black Friday. <laughs> Don't regret. <laughs> we accept the cash and credit cards. Zero fees, another fun of the time. Remember, it's just a man in his way to survive. Maybe how you lose It's enough for me. <laughs> Oh my, oh my gosh, Sandra, we need to, to buy this promotion, go together to a, the next Black Friday. Yes, don't worry, let's go and buy it, it way, the credit card. Oh, I, I think it is a you. great promotion. I need, the, I need that iPhone 13 to see my Facebook. And I was also thinking of becoming a public figure. <laughs> and hey. yeah. What do you think, Andres? Okay, I will go to buy a TV this Black Friday. Finished it. <laughs> Yay! Okay, good job. That was creativity, actually. I, I think I could understand I could understand the, the the lyrics that he replaced come to the Black Friday and spend your money here. Great job. And that's very common actually when they substitute the lyrics of a song of a popular song to make a commercial, right? Good job. That's advertising. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. Second group. Heidi, Johnny, Roberto, and Suleima. It's Friday night and I'm so hungry. And I don't know where to go for dinner. Do you know a good place? 
I really don't know. I have no money or idea. Where can we go? Come on, Johnny. Your microphone, Johnny. With Can you hear me? Okay. Come on, Johnny's pupuseria and try the best crazy pupusas ever. With all the sauces and curtidly you can eat. If you get to eat two more crazy pupusas, you get a 50% discount in your next purchase. Don't forget the best flavor, the best discount only in Johnny's pupuserias. And now we have the new product, a uh, rabbit pupusa. Do you want to taste? Come here. <laughs> uh, hey, good job. Es el primero que veo que saca su actor. <laughs> okay. Aparte de Iván, que sacó su cantante. Ok, great job, Johnny. Hey, es un 50% de descuento en el siguiente, la siguiente compra de pupusas. ¿Qué te parece eso? Ah, si te comes las dos locas. Man. That was crazy. Hey, good job, Johnny. I love your face. Great job. It was really good, actually. Me too. Congrats, guys. It was very natural. Hey, next group, group number four. I only have Elvin, Irwin, and Yuri. Is that right? What's up, Ivan? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you were clapping. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Action. Hey. Hi, guys. I have a problem. My cell is wrong. Okay, uh, Ivan, I have a promotion for you. I have the last the, the last Samsung phone for you. Uh, it, it is a Samsung S21. I'm going to offer you a big offer, 40% uh, 40, 40 of discount and many tools, enterprise tools. And I'm going to offer you two day free shipping and that include, include Amazon Prime, Amazon Video, one book free for each month. Unlimited upload all your photo and Amazon Music. Oh, fantastic. Okay, Irene, my name is Helvin. I saw this, I saw this person here. Uh, I have a different, uh, a different promotion in this store. Uh, I have cell phone uh, of the last generation. Uh, it's an iPhone. If you if you want iPhone, uh, is that you can feel uh, uh, the different uh, the different uh, for you can use uh, yes, uh, the cell phone. Uh, it, it is cheaper than Samsung. This one has better factory, and you buy the cell phone now. Uh, we we have the promotion uh, of. 50 uh, 50 percent is come uh, free uh, free social media for a year ensure again uh ensure against robbers uh sign because in uh, in this country is a lot of insecurity and the cell phone has a uh, incorporate camera you can use uh, the different model the camera and in 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 the in the in the apple uh there are different aliens and, and there are different apps can use in different situation and i think is is the is the better uh promotional is you want uh have a cell phone very very nice i don't know what do you think what do you prefer perfect, perfect. i want this thank you man Thank you, guys. Okay. Wait, was that a yes or a no? 
what are you getting? An iPhone or a Samsung? Samsung. A Samsung? Yes. Yes, because we are going to send you directly at your house. You don't need to go to the store. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, he went for Samsung. Good job, guys. Applause again. Great job. Last group. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alexander, Alan, Juan Francisco, <laughs> and Luis. Oh my God. Come on, guys. Don't do that to me. Okay, group number three. One, two, three. Action. Are you ready, guys? Everybody has the microphone on, oh, Alan? Yeah, go ahead. Hello. Okay. Hey, you. I'm talking to you. Are you going to be ugly and fast? Hey, you can. You can stop it. You fat and ugly. Stop being a misfit. It's your turn. It's your opportunity to be successful in life. Hey. Now you have the opportunity to be a new person. In this case, uh, we are offering the new idea to be a new body shape. Come on, it's your turn. And I give you an offer to you. 50% is going in groups of three or more. Hey, and you can win in a lottery, in a plastic surgery. Okay, think about it. This is your opportunity. Jim, pobrecitos, it's time to go. And win us. Okay. That's it? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Fair enough. Awesome. Okay, fair enough. Oh my God. Okay. So, did you get it, guys? The prize is a plastic surgery. If you go for three months to the gym, they give you a plastic surgery after three months. Okay. Okay. Good job. Good job, guys. And the last group is composed by Ala, Carolina, and Josue Alberto. Ready? And yeah. So, do you want to change your look? You want to start a new cycle in your life? Have more confidence in yourself? The best gift for you is to pamper yourself. Oh my gosh. In pandemic, beauty is alone. We have everything you need. Oh, and you're welcome. And the offer, we have a good, uh, you, go, you need the, your, your hair exclusive offer. More pistol and thin comb and nails and performance makeup. And your promotion is a uh, get a free head good for boyfriend and um, fashion and your and you and your boyfriend and the other the other offer William. Okay, that includes uh, washing and drying us. As always, we have the best products with the high best, the highest quality as the best price. So. Join us. That's it. Sure. Join us. Is that a beauty salon? Yes. Yeah, it's a pandemic beauty salon. Pandemic beauty salon. If you want yeah. to have, if you want to have more babies during this pandemic, come to pandemic <laughs> beauty salon. A lot of babies. What? What? Why are they going to name the kids that were created during the quarantine? <laughs> Did you notice in El Salvador there's a lot of Brian's um Britannies? Br no, wait, the, the, <laughs> not Britannies, no, Brian's Kevin. 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 That's not from the movie. Wait. Dominic's. Dominic's Brian's. <laughs> Leon's. Leon's. Yeah, there's since like 10 years to now, you know, ever since Fast and Furious was the thing, you know. Oh my God, that's amazing. It's like my kids, my my first kid is, name is Christopher. Voy corriendo sin detenerme, un amigo voy a ver. 
Christopher Robin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other kid, my other son's name is Xavier. Excellent. I don't know. I love those names. Okay. So a hey, great job. Promotions. They're, they can be applied to everything. Um, good. I think this will be it. Bien, chicos. Hoy es viernes. Eh, perdón, me voy a saltar un poco al, al español, as usual. ¿Alguien se siente así como un poco perdido con los temas que hemos visto? ¿O cree que necesita refuerzo? ¿Algo que resulte confuso hasta ese punto? Ya es día 12 hoy, si no me equivoco. Check again. Sí, si no me equivoco, hoy es el día 12. Y pues, yes, today is our class number 12. Um, hemos visto poca gramática, si lo han notado, ¿no? ¿Qué hemos visto de gramática en este módulo? Someone. What's the first topic? Something. Enough. Enough. That's it. Solo el uso de enough. It's enough. Enough is enough. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's enough. <laughs> Very funny. You're a funny guy, Alexander. Yeah. Okay. Hey, por cierto, okay. me voy a quedar con Yuri hoy en la noche, 10 minutos en la sesión. Eh, pero el punto <laughs> es. Ya te vi la cara, William. Hey. Come on. Hey, este. Gramática. Solo hemos visto eso. Enough. Ahora recuerda, tenés enough con adjectives, enough con nouns. Ok. Si lo notas, ya los temas son más técnicos, como decía Heidi. Ya entramos a algo más complejo, si lo quiere ver así. Ayer les enviaba el segundo artículo para leer que tenía que ver sobre esto, sobre promotions, right? Uh, no más tengas un chancecito de leerlo. Les quería hablar de algo muy importante, que es la plataforma. Ayer, subiendo notas, tenía que haberlo hecho el... Um, Sí, ayer, pero en la mañana. El miércoles en la noche tenía que haber terminado de subir sus notas. No lo hice por darles tiempo. Dije yo, se van a poner las pilas. Hay que... Hey, este, hay que estar al día con la plataforma. Ahorita está la unidad 2. Y de, de hecho, tanto que se los he dicho, hay alguno, una persona creo que ya lo terminó casi toda la plataforma. Tú puedes hacer eso, avanzar. Llegaste en la unidad 4, terminé el midterm exam, si querés. Dale. Okay. En algo te vas a equivocar, pero te va a ayudar a ver qué es lo que viene, prepararte para la clase y para poder hablar más en la clase. ¿Qué es lo que quiero uh, decirles ahorita? Esta clase no es para venirse a ver la cara y pasar toda la clase. Sí, uh, ok, wondering, preguntándote qué está diciendo el teacher. ¿Qué hace si no entendes algo? No perdas de vista que esta clase no es ¿Cómo te explico? Eh, es como los cursos normales de Insaforp, digamos, donde tú vas a clases de Excel y se te está dando fórmulas y todo, vos vas tomando nota y el profesor pasa hablando toda la clase. A mí no me gusta eso. Me encantan esos temas, ya te dice cuenta. Chivo, pero me encanta más cuando ustedes se meten en el tema. Y siento que estoy alcanzando mi objetivo porque es muy diferente alcanzar un objetivo, un objetivo gramatical para un profesor de inglés que alcanzar, lo más difícil es alcanzar un objetivo en cuanto a un tema complicado, no común, ¿ok? Pero si yo logro que ustedes se sumerjan en ese tema, como lo hemos venido haciendo esta semana, creo que lo hemos alcanzado un poco, ¿no? Hay, han habido momentos que como ayer la lectura, ¡ay! dijeron todo, estoy en el colegio, en la universidad, ¡qué hueva! ¡Ey! Pero lo vamos llegando, lo vamos alcanzando. Entonces, si llegamos a eso, estoy bien. Si yo siento que hablo mucho, no sirve de nada. ¿Ok? El punto es que tú participes y que logres adquirir un poco del conocimiento de los temas que vamos viendo. Tú dirás, hey teacher, pero mire, yo soy mecánico, o sea, ¿qué onda? Estamos hablando de, del ciclo de vida del producto. Aplícalo y te invito a que hagas esto. Mira, en mi vida profesional, lo que más me ha sacado adelante para todo, para todo, no sé ni cómo llamarle, pero es interpretación lógica de sucesos. Así le, le digo a veces. O sea, y, y el apego de, de un suceso relacionado a otro. 
si yo te hablo de product life cycle, ok, no producís, pero da servicio. Teacher, pero yo no doy servicio, yo trabajo en el escritorio todo el día, soy contador. Seguro. Y ese, ese trabajo que realizas, ¿acaso no es un servicio? Tu vida con tu familia, ¿acaso no es un servicio a otros? Ok. Pensa que tú eres el producto y tienes un ciclo de vida y sos perecedero. Juela. Créeme, pensar de esta manera te va a ayudar a, a, a tener ideas un poco más abstractas y, y darte cuenta de que todo está relacionado. ¿Sí o no? ¿Sí? Ok. Es como la reingeniería, la puedes aplicar en todo. Y si lo logras hacer, man, siempre va a haber una manera de hacer las cosas mejor, ¿o no? Ok. No te quedes con lo que yo te digo, rebuscalo, googlealo, ¿verdad? Y no te perdas de eso. Seguí luchando por entender. Si del plano topas contra la pared y no entendés algo, escribime. Yo creo que ya después de tres meses, con la mayoría, ya somos cheros. O sea, me puedes escribir y decirme, hey, mire, sí. se, peló, se peló ayer, no le entendí nada de lo que dijo. Sí. <ríe> en confianza. Decime, ¿qué puedo hacer? Ese tema que vimos gramatical, no lo entendí. ¿Qué hago? ¿Right? ¿Qué? Hablo del pasado, no entendí nada, teacher. ¿Cómo era el pasado? ¿Dónde lo puedo revisar? ¿Qué audios puedo buscar? ¿Qué? Es que teacher le escribí ayer y no me contestó. Ah, ahorita. <ríe> También vea. Sorry, pero sí, te voy a contestar, ¿ok? Y te voy a ayudar. Es más, si tú me decís, mire, teacher, yo estoy desesperado. Y ya me he pasado. Yo me voy para Estados Unidos en dos meses. En dos meses. Y no es para. Ya tengo el boleto, teacher, me voy. Necesito aprender inglés ya. Gente que no habla. Ok. ¿Qué hago? Hay un compromiso. ¿De verdad quiere aprenderlo? Va a ser esto, esto y esto, esto, esto todos los días. Y todos los días va a ser esto y esto y esto. Yo le voy a revisar esto todos los días. ¿Le voy a cobrar? No, no se preocupe. Es mi, es mi, es mi trabajo como ser humano. Ni, ni como teacher. Sino que si alguien realmente necesita aprender y necesita. Y se mete el, el compromiso en la cabeza de hacer las cosas. Créeme, esto funciona, pero solo depende de ti, ni tanto de mí. Yo te puedo dar un montón de cosas, pero si tú no las explicas, right? So, think about it. Descansen en su fin de semana. Nos quedamos, Yuri, solo 10 minutes. I'll see you on Monday. Si toman, no manejen, por favor, descansen. Good night. Ada, Susana Cáceres, Mendoza. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martínez. Present. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosos Morales. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José night, Antonio. Everybody. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Have a nice weekend. You too. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto yeah. Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. See you Monday. See you Monday. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. Good, Good night. night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay. Good night, Irene. Good night. Okay, jury. Why jury? 
my teacher. <laughs> and it's the first time we're together in a session, right? Yes. Okay. It is. Good. Bien, eh, vamos, te voy a hablar en español solo un minuto nada más de estos días que tenemos. Yo siempre que tengo la primera reunión con ustedes, eh, pido que me contesten dos preguntas. Primera pregunta, ¿cuál ha sido tu experiencia con el inglés? O sea, ¿ya habías o sea, estudiado en otra academia? Sin decir nombres. O sea, ¿ya habías estudiado antes el inglés o esta es la primera vez en inglés corporativo? Y número dos y más importante, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Aparte de recibir las dos horas de clase de inglés técnico, ¿qué estoy haciendo para estudiar inglés aparte de las dos horas? Bien, realmente ya he estudiado inglés en dos academias eh, y una es muy parecida al curso que estamos viendo ahorita, pero ya hace años creo que se me olvidó todo. Eh, <ríe> y la segunda es, estoy tratando de, bueno, tengo... Ya da tiempito de estar practicando con mis hijas. Eso me ha ayudado bastante. Y adicionalmente escucho muchos youtubers en inglés sobre cosas técnicas. No técnicas, son de mercado, ¿verdad? Entonces me ayuda a mí para estar un poquito más en el... Entenderles más o menos. O sea, a veces es un poco complicado porque hablan o muy rápido o son muy técnicos. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? ¿Y esos son videos en vivo o, o videos pregrabados? Son pregrabados o algunos son en, en vivo. Ah, ok. Pero en vivo sí siento un poco más complicado y eso sí, lo siento un poco más complicado porque hay un yeah. youtuber eh, gringo que habla, hace los en vivos y como que me cuesta seguirle el paso, pero cuando los hace pregrabados los veo que son un poco más... Tú puedes modificar la, la velocidad de hecho del video, ¿no? Puedes bajar a 75 y así. Eh, bien, súper bien. Ahora, y, uh, hablar con otra persona. Si ya sabe inglés, súper bien. Y dejarse corregir. Eso es como estar en una ah, clase sí. todo el día. Es como estar en una clase durante todo ese tiempo. Cuando hablas con otra sí, persona. Mira, me corrige a veces. Ok. Súper bien, súper bien. Hablo eh, mejor que yo. <risa> ok. ¿Trabaja de eso? Mi hija. Sí, sí. No, no, mi hija tiene nueve años y la pequeña tiene cinco años, pero tienen bastante buena pronunciación. ¿En la escuela o, o cómo han aprendido ellas inglés? Eh, es que yo al principio las comencé a meter al inglés, les comencé a inculcar el inglés desde pequeñas y le, le enseñé la primera y la, la primera le enseñó la segunda y las dos tienen muy buena pronunciación. <risa> Qué chido. Eh, sí, tiene un mejor vocabulario y muy, muy buena pronunciación, tanto así que una vez fuimos a visitar a mis padres en Estados Unidos y los del de cónsul les preguntó si ellas vivían ahí y que si yo vivía en Estados Unidos, porque les dijeron que yo les había enseñado, porque tenían muy buen acento y realmente lo tienen, ¿verdad? Entonces hoy ellas me corrigen a mí. Sí, es porque qué son una esponjita, chido. ¿verdad? Qué bueno. ¿Qué les funcionó a ellas? Eh, primero las obligué a que hablaran solo en inglés entre ellas. Cuando juegan, solo juegan en inglés. Segundo, la música. A solo ver, música en inglés les puse. ¿Qué hacen si se traban en una palabra? Cuando están jugando solo en inglés. Lo hablan en español. Una sí, vez pero, me acuerdo que... O sea, lo hablan, hablan el problema. O sea, espérame, ¿cómo se dice eso? Oh. No, hay veces que eh, hay un problema que les generé y es de que hay veces que mi hija grande, mi ma la mayor, tiene problemas a veces de querer expresarme las cosas en español. Ella sabe lo que quiere decir, sabe qué significa en inglés, pero no sabe cómo expresármelo en, en español. En español. Entonces, una vez estaba, por decir algo, volcán. Eh, yo me acuerdo que no sabía cómo decirme ella en español volcán. Uh -huh. Entonces, ese, ese es el problema que genera la, ese tipo de confusión, ¿verdad? Pero está bien. Entonces, es súper bueno. Uh -huh. Tengo una amiga, que, unos hermanos de la iglesia, que eh, él es profesor y ella es doctora ya, en inglés prácticamente. Eh, y a las dos hijas igual. Desde pequeñas les hablaban en francés, en inglés y en español. El, el problema sí, es una gran dislexia. 
llega un punto en el que se habla en el Excel. Pero el cerebro es capaz de adaptarse a un solo idioma al estar solo en ese entorno. Y sí, te va a pasar. Puede que confundas eh, ciertas palabras, pero es más la capacidad de, 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 de articular palabras de la lengua romanza, inglés, español y francés. O sea, sí se puede, sí se puede. Ahora, si mezclas la otra cosa como el japonés o el mandarín ¿ya? y hablas inglés y español, mmm, más complicado todavía. Y si lo he visto en amigos, en personas que he conocido, súper bien, te, te felicito de verdad. Ahora, te invitaría a que apliquen lo que ya hacen, right Lo que sea que están haciendo y tú digas, esto le funcionó, lo voy a intentar hacer yo. Y uno, y dos, eh, tú tienes 39, igual que yo, quizás no, más o menos. No, más. Más, ok. Más años. Ah, esto sonaba a teoría en el 2016, pero en realidad sí es, es ya después de siete años me he dado cuenta que, que son cinco años, digamos, me he dado cuenta que sí, sí es cierto, el hecho de que entre mayor está uno, más paradigmas tiene te volvés más cerrado y crees que lo que conoces inconscientemente, ¿eh? crees que lo que conoces es la pura verdad y nadie te va a mover de ahí. Entonces este problema es inconsciente. Eh, ya tu cerebro tiene mucho conocimiento del idioma español, por lógica, si tú lees, las letras están en español o no. No las palabras, sino que las letras son las mismas que tenemos en el alfabeto en, en español. Tu cerebro inconscientemente va a estar queriendo leer esas palabras en español y eso es lo difícil, entonces dejemos de lado la lectura y solo escuchemos y hablemos, qué es lo que te está funcionando con las niñas te invito de verdad a que soltes la lengua así, de verdad eh, pero falta una cosa que es algo a lo que yo les he estado invitando en cada sesión autocorrección ¿cómo alcanzo a autocorregirme? Eh, tomo una base algo, un escrito una conversación, un diálogo que yo encuentre eh, creo que ahí se los envié, no sé si te fijas, que había enviado un, una página que se llama Wrong Chan. Creo, ¿no? En el chat. Eh, esta página tiene más de 250 audios para eh, poder practicar. Ahorita te envío el, el index. Son conversaciones con audio, o sea, el texto y el audio. Entonces, por ejemplo, podría agarrar una conversación de esas por semana, si quieres, o algo. ¿Cómo aplico esto? Eh, primer, segundo día, si se me hace difícil. Si lo encuentro fácil, pero bueno. No discrimino eh, entre los temas. Lo que te acabo de enviar es un índice, un índice de, de temas. Le darás clic a cualquiera de los temas. Puedes scroll down, moverte hacia abajo y seleccionar cualquier tema. Y luego seleccionar el siguiente subtema. Y ahí te va a salir. Entonces, primero dos días. Escucho y leo con la vista. Escucho y leo con la vista los primeros dos días. Tercer y cuarto día. Escucho y repito. ¿okay? Escucho y repito. Tratando de articular lo mejor posible lo que estoy escuchando. Y voy viendo la letra. Y el quinto día. Apago el audio ya y empiezo a repetir yo solo la lectura. El sexto séptimo día. Dependiendo de mi nivel de confianza. Agarro el celular, me grabo leyendo, tratando de entonar lo más similar posible al audio, recordándolo. Y una vez lo tenga grabado, yo diga, esta me quedó chido, estoy seguro. Le doy play al celular y al audio de la página. Cerca, ¿eh? Y qué raro dije eso. No, no, esa no pega. Shhh, subrayar. Esa también. Ey, esa me salió súper chiva. Y ahí vas. ¿Sí, ¿Sí me entendés? Porque te estás escuchando tu audio y el audio que está pregrabado. Entonces ya tenés un patrón. Y esto con el tiempo, que así fue como yo aprendí, llega a generarte como... Pero yo lo, lo hice con la música. Lo hice con, con música de Frank Sinatra y cosas así. Las letras. Empecé a cantar, a imitar eh, su pronunciación. Me funcionó. Entonces tenés un patrón y tenés tu voz. Te autocorregís tú solo. ¿Tiene sentido? Sí. Eso, eso te ayudaría muchísimo ahorita y, y eso da muy buenos resultados, Jerry. Muy buenos resultados. Felicidades de verdad por lo que estás haciendo con las niñas y pues de verdad, ojalá primero Dios que, 
que sigan así, ¿verdad? Y que han tenido un buen papá realmente porque... ¿Cómo es? ¿Casa de herrero? Cuchillo, cuchillo de palo. Cuchillo ¿no? de palo. Ah. <ríe> Mis hijos. Mira, hasta ahora que se están hallando el sabor de tanto verme, están en la casa dando clases, hablando en inglés. Al principio era como, ¿qué está diciendo este? Hoy no, ya se acercan y están poniendo más interés en tocar la guitarra, en hablar inglés. Y el menor de los dos, de los dos niños, eh, ¿cómo reparar el carro? <ríe> Cada uno trae su cosa realmente. So, Super sí, bien. a mis hijas no les son... gusta ver Sí, dos niñas y no les gusta ver Las películas o las caricaturas En español Wow, súper bien No les gusta ver super bien. Así, bien. Es decir, y ahorita ya están viendo caricaturas Para niñas de De 11 a 15 años Cuidado, Donde eh. el inglés ya es Ya es un poco Sí, ya he visto el contenido De, de la serie y es, es Un contenido bastante sano entonces, eh, siempre trato de filtrarles el contenido de, de lo que ven, porque siempre he estado encima de, en, en esa parte. Eh, pero sí, ya el nivel de inglés, ya, se, ya el mismo cerebro creo que les está demandando otro nivel más, más fuerte. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, y ahí las he puesto también con clases de un profes una profesora, tenían una profesora, hasta hace unos dos meses la estaba pagando una profesora eh, que estaba en línea, una, una nativa de norteamericana, uh -huh. que les hablaba bastante bien. Entonces la profesora era solo para adultos. Uh -huh. Cuando yo le escribí me dijo, bueno, yo no le doy a niñas, me dice, porque creo que voy a tener muchos problemas. Pero podemos probarme. Cuando, cuando habló con ella se sorprendió porque ella no habla mucho español. Uh -huh. Se sorprendió porque le agarraron bastante bien, porque la, la, la mayor sí hasta bien lee el, español, el inglés y el español, lo, lo, lo lee bastante bien, con una buena pronunciación. Entonces, mi idea es que sean full bilingües, ¿verdad? Totalmente. Súper bien. No, como el padre, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? <risa> Tartamudo. Hey, pero toda, no, pero eh, tú tienes buena pronunciación. El problema es que um, preposiciones, diría yo, y algunos sonidos finales. So, ya, ya vamos a empezar a eso, eh, lo voy a empezar a presionar un poco más y esta semana en cuanto a ponerlos en, exponerlos, exponerlos a que vean las áreas de oportunidad que tienen que ir mejorando cada uno. Eso siempre lo hago en la tercera semana. So. Sí, lo que pasa es que creo que tengo que dedicarle un poquito de tiempo a estudiar mucho del material que está ahí, porque creo que a eso me ha estado faltando, porque estoy haciendo... Eh, ahorita me inscribí a un curso también eh, en inglés de, pero eso es un curso técnico uh -huh. que no me ha quedado tiempo de estudiarlo pero sí, eh, la idea es que mucho del contenido está en inglés si uno quiere algo bueno, lo tiene que encontrar en inglés, lo, debe, lo va a encontrar en inglés Sí, yo por eso aprendí inglés no, no por el afán sí. de hacer dinero tenía siete años, o sea era porque descubrí, empezaba el internet descubrí que había un montón de cosas que no en la escuela donde las enseñaban, en el país no eran como muy conocidas y me encantó, o sea, ahí me enamoré. So, ahí estamos, cualquier cosa, un consejo o lo que sea, igual idea que tú me quieras dar y decir, teacher, hey, aplique esto, mire, démosle. Súper bien, ok. Ok, bye. Bueno, gracias. Entonces, good night, sí. que descanses. Bueno, good night. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.